Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 6. And I wanted to apologize for my voice. I have lost my voice. I don't know why, but you're going to have to bear with it for this video. Anyway, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about something that I've been meaning to talk about for the last few days. Thank you for the support on my recent Supergirl videos. Again, we're going to be touching on Supergirl and its final season quite a lot because we all have a lot of questions and you guys have been sending them in. Go over to the community tab, the last post that was posted about nearly a week ago or so asked for you guys to send in your questions about the final season and so i've answered some of them on one video so far and i'm going to get around to the other questions but if you have new questions or you didn't actually comment on the community post which you can find on my channel by clicking the community tab you can go over right now and do it and i'm sure i'll get around to making that video sometime later this week talking about your other questions and sort of ideas about Supergirl ending. So today is going to be different. We're actually going to be talking about what Kevin Smith said in his podcast. Obviously, you guys know Kevin Smith. He's a director. He's directed Supergirl's episodes, quite a few of them, actually. I believe like three or four. And so he's kind of in the know. He kind of knows a bit about Supergirl, but he doesn't know everything behind the scenes. And I think a lot of people put a lot of credence into what he and his co-host Mark said in this podcast but if you watch it properly like i did i'll give you the full details of what they said and why some people were panicking online when i don't think you should because they don't know much apart from kevin occasionally coming on and directing he's a fantastic guy i love him i've seen him at comic con he did the best panel there but today we're just going to be talking about what he said and why people got a bit confused online also there is a new article that just went up on Variety that we need to talk about major breaking news to do with our DC TV shows. So anyway, I watched Kevin Smith's full video, his podcast, and he was talking about Supergirl. And people were speculating online due to Kevin's podcast that Melissa would be coming back to filming as late as January. So I'm here to break that down and talk about what's really happening. So let's go ahead and get into this. So he made it pretty clear. He doesn't know much. This was a lot of speculation. Nothing was concrete apart from what he's seen online. I don't believe he's actually talked to Melissa since she had her baby and everything like that. I don't think he's been told about Supergirl and what their plans are going into the new season because he's not a regular. He occasionally comes in direct, so he'll get told about his episodes, but he won't get told anything more. So he starts talking about Supergirl and Melissa at the 29 minute mark. I'll leave the podcast in the description below so you can go check it out for yourself and you can confirm what I'm talking about. So he imagines and he talks about Melissa and the show ending. He's pretty damn sure that Melissa was in talks with the CW, Warner Brothers and Blanty Productions, that they shut down the show together, that they sort of came together and said we're gonna end it here at the end of season six and so Kevin pretty much lines up with what we're all thinking that Melissa was a big part of this because it's kind of perfect timing for her really and so anyway before we get onto the meat a bit Kevin also said that he wants to direct an episode in Supergirl's final season I'm sure that's gonna happen because you know people are big fans of his episode I think he's done a great job on some of them I didn't really like his last one that much, but that was just the story, I think. So, yeah, I would love to see him back. Do you guys want to see Kevin Smith come back and return with a final episode? Anyway, so let's move on. So his co-host, Mark, speculated that the show would be filming later to accommodate for Melissa's maternity leave. Yet, and this is a big thing, Supergirl was scheduled to start two days ago. Production was set to begin but has since been delayed. And we'll talk about the delay in just a second, but I have to emphasize the fact that they don't know, Kevin and Mark, they don't know about Supergirl starting up. From what I saw in this podcast, everything they said in regards to dates was speculation because he was just guessing. He was actually asking Kevin a question, but Kevin never really answered it. And so he speculated that Supergirl would start late to accommodate for Melissa's maternity leave yet Supergirl was set to start production just a few days ago. So that's one piece of information that people got scared about and that's not the case. Melissa's not coming back in January. 
Alright, so let's talk about this article. So, Supergirl was in fact supposed to start production two days ago, and we all thought it did. However, Vancouver was shut down. And so if we go on over to this Variety article, they talk about that production has shut down on the CW's Vancouver-based shows, Riverdale, Batwoman, and then if we go down the page and you go to Warner Brothers Television is also delaying production on the CW's The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, and Supergirl, both of which were supposed to start production this week. So the reason for this was due to testing, and testing was taken too long, took them too long to get the results back and therefore they had to shut down productions. There is a high possibility that this is going to happen like two, three, four times this season whilst they're filming because they've got so many shows in Vancouver, they need to keep up to date. Basically, you shouldn't worry about this. It's probably only going to delay production on our shows for a few days or potentially a week, maybe two weeks if it's bad. However, it's going to happen because, you know, testing can't keep up with the amount of people that they need to test, like, every single day. I don't know if they need to test every day, but it's, like, every few days at least. So, yeah, it was shut down over testing delays in Vancouver. It wasn't due to a virus outbreak. There was no one getting the virus on the set, so it's not a full-on shutdown like it was before when people were getting the virus back in March. This time, it was due to delays in testing. And getting those results back so that's why Riverdale and Batwoman actually stopped production they obviously had started filming we saw Batwoman filming on the street and everything like that so it was confirmed that you know due to this testing problems and them prioritizing schools in Vancouver it caused stoppages in filming that as it says in the variety article are assumed to be temporary and according to one source there is a single lab company approved to oversee coronavirus testing in Vancouver and this Vancouver company is prioritizing local Vancouver schools who are opening this week so it's assumed to be temporary and productions will start this is why I'm saying it's not a big thing to worry about considering the fact that it's only temporary and they were just prioritizing the tests on the kids going back to school so therefore production will start again on all our shows once those results come in and once they can start going faster on the test results and testing people for the film productions and the priority will go back to film and television shows that are filming in Vancouver because they need to be there and they can't afford to keep on being shut down so yeah give it a few days a few weeks or something and we'll be back so let's move back on to Kevin Smith and his podcast and what they said so yeah production was delayed but that was not to accommodate for melissa's maternity leave so that is wrong in fact and so mark actually mentions a potential january date for melissa and supergirl to come back but that was purely speculation and he obviously isn't in the know that the supergirl cast are back in vancouver and set to start filming very soon and melissa will 100 percent return before january as the show is set to finish in april that is their final filming day and yes Supergirl has been extended by a few episodes, so potentially it might finish at the end of April or something like that. However, it's very clear that Mark didn't know they were back in Vancouver right now, and what he specifically said wasn't just for Melissa. He's saying that the show would accommodate so that Melissa could come back later, and he mentioned the January date. So, from what I got from what he said, he was speculating that the show would start filming in, say, January. So they give Melissa a couple more months. And whilst that's not bad, I guess that would be really good for Melissa. But the thing is, the fact is that Supergirl is actually back and set to start filming. So, you know, it's wrong. So don't panic about that. Supergirl is coming back once these COVID delays are actually out the window. And that won't be very long from now. And also another big point, Supergirl's final season, if it finishes in April or say the end of April if they add on those two episodes like they have, they are not going to have half the season, half the final season in fact, and I have to emphasize the final season without Supergirl. With Supergirl missing from half the season, they are not going to do that. They're going to get Melissa back as soon as possible, considering that they are back in Vancouver and the cast is ready to go. They were supposed to start filming a few days ago. That means Melissa is not far behind, even if she is a few weeks late. We don't know right now, but speculation online is that Melissa will start filming a few weeks later due to her maternity leave, but online speculation has 
us to believe that she won't be that far behind as you know according to melissa's post she had her baby a few weeks ago which could have potentially been nearly a month ago they just didn't want to post about it online which is completely reasonable so i'm pretty sure she would be fine and set to return to filming sometime in the next few weeks after supergirl starts and also with this delay i guess it gives her like a few more weeks as well so i reckon and what people have been saying online is maybe november time i'm probably saying october time i think november's a bit too late although it would be great for melissa i really don't think it's realistic that they would start filming at such a late point if they want to get 20 episodes in and they want melissa in all of those episodes because she is super girl and like i said they're not gonna have her missing from half the season so if they start filming for a few weeks and melissa comes back they can just pick up on that and add her into the episodes film her scenes so it's not such a big deal so yeah don't worry about any of this this was just purely speculation and i think people took it a bit too seriously as to what they were saying because you know kevin does have some authority he's had some say in the past with supergirl but he is just a visiting director after all he's not told any of this and it was clear that they didn't know that you know supergirl was set to return to filming literally like a day after they filmed that podcast so you know don't worry about any of this thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed it please be sure to leave a like and a comment also turn on notifications so you don't miss any supergirl videos as we head into the final season we're going to be making lots of videos remember to go over to the community tab right now and leave your questions about Supergirl's final season because we're going to get round to those questions in the next few days in one of these videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry for my voice and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see room.